Hey guys, this is John and Kurt with True Shot Gun Club, and today we'll be talking about the Strybog SP9A3S. So this Strybog model is brand new for this year and they put some really cool features in it. The ones I really like is the non-reciprocating charging handle. They've tuned that roller delay operation, adding a little bit of robustness inside this polymer frame with an aluminum insert. So it's like they have take this gun and take it to a whole new level. All right, before we go any further, let's see what comes in the box. So it obviously comes with this great hard case and inside we've got the firearm itself. Our version comes with the Gearhead Works PDW brace. We've also got the Swamp Fox Kraken optic on it. That does not come with the firearm. Additionally, we've got three 30 round mags. Uh, we've got the back plate. We've got another set of replacement flip up sights and a trigger lock. And so for you spec nerds, here's a quick breakdown. So Kurt, I really love this gun. I think this is one of the coolest guns we've shot so far. It really is. I think um, it, it stands out. It obviously is, like with a lot of the grand powers and uh, other models in the Strybog line, it obviously takes a lot of design cues from that Eastern European you know, styling. Uh, so when we opened up the case, I mean, clearly this thing looks really, really cool. Uh, shooting impressions of it, um, all the ammo that we threw at it, um, I don't think we had any malfunctions or any issues with it at all. That also included some, we shot it suppressed and unsuppressed, and we actually shot it with some underpowered ammo as well. And this thing just kept running. So in terms of that, I think it's great. Um, for me personally, I was honestly a little bit surprised. It recoiled a little bit more than I thought. You know, it does have that roller delayed action. Um, it feels to me, a little bit more just like a direct blowback. That's not a bad thing, but it did recoil a little bit more than, than I was kind of expecting. You know, and my shooting experience was a little bit different than yours. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice the recoil as much. What I did notice is the gun was easy to get back on target. And like you said, everything we ran through, it ran great. Even stuff that we've put in other guns and the guns wouldn't run. Totally. So that just tells me that they've got this tune just right to like run any load. And this thing is a joy to shoot with a suppressor on it. It just gets back on there. Now the main thing that I like this for is because it's so compact and especially with this, un, uh, this collapsible brace from Gearhead Works, this thing's so compact it can fit in a backpack. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, this, this thing makes a great backpack truck gun. I mean, obviously it's nine mil, so there's that whole conversation as well. But if you want to go that route, seriously, look at this thing. Oh yeah. And you know, throwing this into a vertex bag was just super easy. We threw it in the back pocket of it, pulled it out, went out and shot it, put it in with and without the suppressor. Uh, you know, we we tried it with a couple different optics too, to just see mm -hmm. how we liked. The one thing I do like is that it does hum with the fold up sights, but not only are they fold up, but they have a rear and front sight, uh, front sight post and a rear sight notch. And they kind of just go through. So you have the ability to co-witness right. without even trying. Mm -hmm. Now, the biggest issue I've got with this gun. Yeah. So let me grab it. Is the mags. Now you can't tell from here, but we'll show, show some B-roll shots. This broke like Almost instantaneously. Yeah, it got it got dropped on concrete and she just kind of grenaded. So, and that's been the biggest complaint I've heard about the Strybox is that the mags are cheap and they break easy. Now, this one was dropped on concrete. This one was dropped on dirt and sand and stuff. It was we fine. Had no issue. Right. It, it, it does, I think the other thing to, to kind of stress there, it does come with three mags, which is nice. Yeah. Um, two out of three. I don't know, man. I, I, it is. that That... That's a strike against it, I think. Um, but again, you can get uh, additional mags. They're not that expensive. Well, and again, like you said, they're, they're not expensive, but this shouldn't be happening. I agree. It's, and that's my only negative about the gun. If it's the mag, then 
hopefully there's an aftermarket fix for this. Exactly. Uh, we haven't been able to find it. Now, this is a really crowded market. You're looking it at is. some of its competitors being either an AR and nine millimeter, but if we're talking about this style of gun, you're looking at like an AP5, a uh, Scorpion, a BNT product line, you know, that market's crowded now. Where it falls in price point, it's very competitive. So there's a number of different configurations available. In price points, you're looking at anywhere between $999 up to about $1,200, and that's either with or without a brace. Again, they have the collapsible. They also have the folding if, if you want to go that route as well. Yeah, and you're looking at like, so Strybog's $999 to $1,200. You've got the AP5, which is $1,700, $1,600. You've got the Scorpion, like we said, that's like $900 without the brace or $1,000 without the brace. B&Ts are the same price, $1,700. Obviously it is, it's a crowded field. So burning question, are you a buyer? I would say yes. I really do love the Strybog design. I like how compact it is. I love how it can fit into a Vertex bag. It's, it runs everything and it did not hiccup once. The trigger on it is amazing. That flat face trigger, we were able to get really quick, fast follow-up shots. I, I I really do appreciate the the flat face trigger is nice. And, and the other thing I do, I really want to stress the fact that, you know, th the question is, am I a buyer, right. right? It has nothing to do with the actual firearm itself. I, I really like this thing a lot. It's just that I think that you know, if, if I'm looking at sort of the list of things that I'm gonna buy, is it on there? Yeah. Is it all the way at the top in this field? Maybe, maybe not. Well, you gotta remember guys, Kurt's a child of the 80s, so his uh, nine mil sub gun is kinda got a little slap to it. Just a little. Just a little. But, you know, overall this gun is really great. I wanna thank Global Ordnance who sent us this gun. Uh, we wanna thank Grand Power. They lit us, they sent us a gun for review, but on top of that, they gave us one to give away. So we're gonna be giving away one of these, a Vertex Gamut 2 backpack, and 500 rounds of 9mm. And you guys can get some extra entries. So if you enter code STRYBOG9mm, you'll get some extra entries for that contest. And again, we wanna thank the folks over at Vertex, Global Ordnance, for making this all possible. So. Thank you guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.